Hey, what's up, my units? I'm back here with another video. As you see, I got the Spurs shirt on. I just want to talk about the Spurs. I'm doing this new thing where it's going to be, I only talk on Thursdays about the NBA. So it's going to be called NBA Talk Thursdays. Watch that playlist, okay? All right, so basically, everybody been coming out the Spurs. And I know ESPN and all the uh, predictors been weighing on this. And it was fiending for finally putting the Spurs out of playoff pitchers. And putting what C predictions as in like 13 C, 14 C, 12 C. But the thing is, y'all got to realize, we didn't even play that much games as much Spurs play. I mean, I'm a, I am meant like NBA, like teams had played when it was in the bubble. We actually played two games less than than the Portland Trailblazers, I, I think, or the uh, three, I guess, but. We didn't play that much games. We actually uh was falling short. The NBA don't love us. We don't. They don't love how boring a team we are and how many views we get. So they basically didn't really, you know, screw. They like really screw us over. But thing is, when we come back, you gotta think about it. We got a uh some kind of healthy Lamarcus Aldridge. We got Demar Derozan. We got Lonnie Walker who got more minutes because we. Took out Bryn Forbes out of the lineup. And I'm telling you now, most like Spurs fans, they wanted Bryn Forbes gone. And you, you'll you see why they wanted him gone. Because he played like he's a good offensive player. But his defense is just atrocious to a point. It don't even fit our system because we have a lot of players that love to play. Not like love to play defense, but, you know, that can help on the defensive side more than on the offensive side. Like, Someone like Brent Forbes, he could play in like an all offense, no defense like lineup, like one of those Nuggets team back then. But hey, that's him, and I'm glad that he on the Milwaukee Bucks and he's going to be contending for a championship. That's good for him. Also, we got rid of Marco Bellinelli, and Marco Bellinelli, he was like the same as Brent Forbes, you know. But it was just like um, Marco, he would hit the most insane shots, but he won't hit the the shots that like you know. That helped us build a lead. Also, with the Spurs, I hope like we just stop blowing the leads in the fourth quarter. Like we we be having like the most like like gracious leads, then we blow it out of nowhere. So yeah. Also, we got rid of Tim Duncan. I know like Tim Duncan was like like the best player of our you know organization, but as an assistant coach, you already knew like. Becky Hammond was there. Like, Tim Duncan did his job, but we needed someone more experienced because since we have uh, Coach Popovich, why would we rebuild? Because, like, Coach Popovich, like, he in, like, one last year of his own, um, you know. Like, we, we know it's, like, sooner or later, he's going to have to, like, go because he's getting too old. So, basically, why don't we, like, you know, try to keep competing for him so, you know, we can build that resume. Because, you know, Greg Popovich is old, and eventually he's going to retire soon. So, I don't know why we uh we got Tim Duncan, like, it's such a, a exclusive job of being an assistant coach. Really, Marlo? This is, this is ladies and gentlemen, this is why we need a door. This is why we need a door. But basically, like I'm saying, don't sleep on our Spurs. We got Kelvin Johnson. We got Lonnie Walker. We got uh, Vassell. Vassil. I don't know how to say his name. Then we got Trey Jones. Okay. Okay. Here. Here. Since since you want to be so into the video, look at him. Look at him. Can you stop? I don't think he's going to stop. But like I'm saying... We got all these players, and we actually going to be doing good this season. So, don't be surprised if we make the AC, 7 seed, 6 seed. All right? Because we, we have playoff aspirations. Also, we got the Jonte Murray. Like, come on. Like, yo, we, we got goats. Like, bro. Now we got Lonnie Walker playing more minutes, and we got, like, all these good core players. You, you will never, like... Like, I... Like, last season, I knew we wasn't going to make the playoffs because first thing first, it was just like, dang. 
Like who who do we have? Like in and you know the West got even harder this year, but I'm just saying it's just better now. Like our our, our starting lineup and our uh bench is more deeper. Like it's gonna it's gonna benefit us in the future. And I'm just glad that I'm actually a part of this culture now. A part of this culture right now. So yeah. So don't count the Spurs out. Like the Spurs, we're gonna come back. We're gonna come back reloaded, hungrier, even more ferocious, ferocious, ferocious. <laughs> we're gonna come back even more ferocious. All right. So if you like this video, please like and subscribe, man. Uh, I don't even know anymore. <laughs> uh, Milo just came here just to lay on me. Uh. They gotta say, uh, say hey to Milo. Okay. But yeah. Uh, yeah. Basically, don't sleep on our Spurs. Spurs Nation, be out.